Hello there. In this video, I'm going to have a look at what it takes to buy software from the shop in the ID Buzz, install it, and run it. I'm only looking at the additional software you can buy from within the car itself, not on the app or on the website. So if we go into the different apps on the ID Buzz, so this particular Buzz is running ID 5.4. Scroll along and click on the shop. What I'll find is I've got some of the stuff available. So Connect Plus is available and that's got a three year license on it. Spotify is available, but I'm not going to use that. There's Games, Wellness, Air Console and VW Connect, which I've already got. So I don't use Spotify, but I will possibly use Games, Wellness and Air Console. So I'm going to select Games first. I'm going to cut out a little bit here where I had to put in my billing address. But once you've got your billing address in, you can accept the terms and conditions and order it. And that automatically will start the download. So while that's downloading, I'm just going to do the same process for wellness. This time I don't have to put in my billing address, let's remember that from before. I'll accept all that. I've read and accepted it, because of course I have, otherwise you won't install the software. And that's that one ordered. And it'll start downloading. And finally, I'm going to put on the air console. So at the moment, these are the only three that I want. Spotify is available, but there's nothing else I can purchase at the moment. Again, I accept terms and conditions, because if I don't, I won't get the software and start downloading that one too. And that's it. That's those on their way. The games is already there. Wellness is on its way down. And your console's just starting. And just to confirm, two minutes later, the games are already there, ready to go. Fast forward a few days, and I've had a little bit of time to have a play about with them. Let's go and have a look and see what the game's like. So in the apps, scroll along a page, games are on there. And there are 10 games available. You can go and check the terms and conditions and stuff as well if you want. Not sure why you'd want that, but it's there. So let's start working our way through and see what they look like. The middle of the deck is just matching up pairs of cards. Picking how many players you want, picking how many cards you want. And I'm terrible at this because I'm not paying any attention. Next up, VW Go. It does remind you to use the touchscreen, not the steering wheel for this. Once it loads up, you can pick your vehicle. Well, clearly, I'm going to pick the ID Buzz. And you, all you've got to do is go left and right, pick up charge as you go, and avoid any obstacles that come up. And 
this is significantly easier when you're not trying to film on your phone at the same time. It looks quite nice. The gameplay is pretty basic. But if you've got young kids, it'll probably keep them entertained for a wee while. If you're waiting for a charge, for example. I'm not sure that the handling's that accurate. Although I've never done a four-lane swerve in the bus yet. Next up, word search. Which we have to search for words. Yeah, that's enough of that. There's a chess game. So you can do single player or head to head. That's a great start there by missing that. Oops. Saltier. It's all very intuitive. Nice and straightforward. And yep, that's probably about enough of that one. Yeah, that's not coming out for me at all. Rage quit. Okay. <laughs> Sudoku, it's got easy, lots of numbers, bored already, let's get rid of that. Bubbles, which is called various things on different app stores. Shoot the bubbles, you get enough of them touching the same colour, they vanish. Again, the kind of thing you possibly sit and play on your phone if you're waiting for a charge, but now you can play it on the screen. Two to the power of living, which I've seen various versions of, and various names, but I'm trying to match up the pairs of numbers, and they double each time. When they match. Four to score, which is... Probably the non-branded name for Connect 4. Again, you play this head-to-head -head or you take on the buzz, which, well, the buzz doesn't appear to be very good at it. Yay, I won. Woo, go me. And Nonogram, which I probably should have read the instructions here. And, yeah, I don't have a clue what's going on. So, yeah, probably never playing that ever again. But at least I can say I've had a shot. One thing to note is that these are all intended for playing when you're parked up, waiting for a charge or just sitting in the car. If you pull away, as I'm going to do here, games go off and it gives you a safety warning. So you can't play them while you're on the move. Which seems sensible. As I said, these games are intended for killing a little bit of time when your car's charging or if you're sitting, waiting for something. Probably good enough to keep your kids entertained. The puzzle ones, if you're into Sudoku, probably pretty good. I'm not going to go out and sit and game in the car, but if I was out, it would keep me entertained for a wee while. Okay, that's all I've got for you in this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.